Last night on this program, you saw a college student in Iowa who rose to speak to the state legislature in defense of his parents, two women who married after Iowa became one of the on only five states to allow same-sex couples to do so. The right of same-sex couples to marry in Iowa has come under attack from the moment the state Supreme Court ruled unanimously in favor of legalizing it nearly two years ago. This week, Iowa House Republicans voted to create a ballot measure that, if approved, would not only ban same-sex marriage, but state recognition of civil unions and domestic partnerships. But before they voted, they had to listen to my next guest, Zach Walls. Uh, good evening, Mr. Chairman. My name is Zach Walls. I'm a sixth generation Iowan and an engineering student at the University of Iowa, and I was raised by two women. Being a student at the University of Iowa, the topic of same-sex marriage comes up quite frequently in classroom discussions. You know, and the question always comes down to, well, can gays even raise kids? And the question, you know, the conversation gets quiet for a moment, because most people don't really have an answer. And then I raise my hand and say, actually, I was raised by a gay couple, and I'm doing pretty well. I scored in the 99th percentile on the ACT. I'm actually an Eagle Scout. I own and operate my own small business. If I was your son, Mr. Chairman, I believe I'd make you very proud. I'm not really so different from any of your children. My family really isn't so different from yours. So what you're voting here isn't to change us. It's not to change our families, it's to change how the law views us, how the law treats us. You are voting for the first time in the history of our state to codify discrimination into our Constitution. A Constitution that, but for the proposed amendment, is the least amended Constitution in the United States of America. You are telling Iowans that some among you are second-class citizens who do not have the right to marry the person you love. So will this vote affect my family? Would it affect yours? But in my 19 years, not once have I ever been confronted by an individual who realized independently that I was raised by a gay couple. And you know why? Because the sexual orientation of my parents has had zero effect on the content of my character. Thank you very much. Joining me now in a last word exclusive, Zach Walls, his mother's Terry Walls, and Jackie Rieger, and his sister Zebby. Zach, thank you very much and your family for joining us tonight. Zach, why did you decide to tell your story to the legislature? Uh, you know, Lawrence, it's just one of those things where I think anybody in my position really would have. Uh, you know, if it was your family that was, you know, being told it didn't have the legal right to exist in your state, uh, you know, I think you would have done the same thing. <laughs> what kind of reaction have you received? I can tell you throughout this building and all the viewers I've talked to who <laughs> saw you on this show last night, it has really been an extraordinary reaction. You know, it's really been overwhelming. Uh, you know, I was uh, sitting at work on Tuesday and a coworker walked up to me and asked, you know, do you realize that you're all over Facebook? <laughs> and I didn't even know what she was talking about until you know, she took me back to her computer and I was like half of her news feed. Uh, you know, the response has really just been absolutely overwhelming. Uh, you know, it's been so inspirational for me uh, to hear from so many people. Um, you know, they're uh, supporting, you know, my family uh, and, you know, the rights of, uh, you know, gay couples and families led by gay couples all across the country. It's really, you know, uh, it's unbelievable. Terry Walls, uh, parents have a lot of uh, proud moments and uh, our eyes water at yeah, everything oh yeah. from kindergarten graduations right through uh, every other big moment in their lives. This is an extraordinary one. This is a parent who's being defended publicly by her son. What did it feel like to watch Zach get up and do that? Oh, that was magnificent. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes. It still brings tears to my eyes uh, watching uh, the talk, hearing all of the praise, the commentary coming from friends and people around the globe. Uh, it's inspiring. It's really uh, very, very lovely. Zach, uh, as a precocious high school student, you wrote in an op-ed piece that <laughs> appeared in the Des Moines Register uh, in 2009, uh, praising the court ruling that made uh, this kind of marriage legal. Uh, at that time, you wrote, mm -hmm. it would take a brave lawmaker, but one ought to propose yeah. a piece of legislation to completely remove government from the marriage process altogether, leaving a religious ceremony to religious institutions and make civil unions mm -hmm. accessible by any two people, including those of the same sex, the norm for legal benefits. Uh, Zach, uh, mm -hmm. you're 19, you're two years away 
two years away from being legally <laughs> eligible to run for the House of Representatives in Iowa and become that brave legislator who offers that proposal. Any thoughts of doing that? Uh, you know, Lawrence, uh, I'm an engineering student at the University of Iowa. I'm planning on going into engineering. Um, you know, and it's not, of course, to say that there are some uh, public policy things I'd like to see accomplished, but uh, personally, no, uh, no plans yet. Terry, what would happen to your marriage? What would happen to your life situation if uh, the opponents of your marriage prevailed and made it illegal in your state? Well, I think the uh, most immediate thing would be impact on health benefits. Jackie's on my health insurance. Uh, this summer, Jackie was laid off, and we uh, up to our wedding, which was planned for the October 21st, to uh, August so that Jackie could be on my uh, health insurance. So yeah. we'd have an immediate impact uh, that way. Jackie, I, I know you, you're not eager to get into this discussion, but uh, you do have a mic and I just want to get a quick reaction from you about <laughs> what it was like to watch your son give that speech. Um, it was just incredible. It was like, wow, that's our boy. That's it. Zebby, I just want to get a word from you of, of what it was like to see your brother get up there and do that. Um, it was incredible. I mean, I'm, I'm so proud of him. I, it's, it's been very surreal these past couple of days, and it's just been fantastic seeing him go out there and make a difference in the world. Zach, where, where do you, what do you think is happening to this issue in your state? Uh, do you think you're, that, 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 that there's any real threat to the legality of, of gay marriage there, or, or is this a fight that's just going to continue in Iowa? No, yeah, you know, the House uh, did pass HJR 6, 6249, uh, or 39, I guess. Uh, but, you know, the fact is that it won't clear the Senate. Um, the fact is that uh, Senate, Iowa State Senator Mike Gronstel, uh, you know, has promised that it will not even come up for a vote. And so, you know, that means that the earliest this could uh, reach the ballot wouldn't be until nearly uh, four or five years from now. So, you know, even though the, you know, the, the other side might have you know, scored some uh, points here, you know, the fact of the matter is it's going to be a couple of years before this comes up for a vote, if it does at all. It is a pleasure to say that Zach Walls just got the last word tonight. Zach Walls, along with his moms, Terry and Jackie, and his sister, Zebby, we appreciate your time and I commend you, Zach, for your eloquent defense of your family. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.